Well, today we are showing three of the latest little books from Hunky Dory. This is obviously Birthdays, Delightful Birds, and Jars of Love. What is so wonderful is that there's so much art in these, and you can layer them, you can um, make them into shaker cards, you can just do so many things with this art. So please, come play with us. Each of these books measures four and a half by five and seven eighths. And as I showed you, it's just packed with art. There are 24 designs and you get six of each one. Now that means you've got a lot of opportunities to use them and the art is vertical or horizontal. So that's also nice. So I'm gonna get started with birthdays. That will be our first. And this is what Heidi has done. In fact, this is an excellent way to show you how you can use those multiple images. Now, this is a card that was made, the card base was made out of this gold stars holographic. Wow, isn't that perfect for birthdays? <laughs> so she certainly simply cut a six and a half by 10 inch piece, scored it in the middle, and that gives you your five by six and a half inch card. By the way, our 10 envelopes will fit those perfectly, so that works out nicely. Now, as I said, I wanted to show you um, the art that she has used. So this is the birthday cheers, and she did um, matte with black, as you can see. So each of those layers, so this is just really a very shiny card, but there's something else going on. In fact, let me just show you right here. Do you see the difference between that and this? Well, the difference is this is shiny and it's raised and she used, yeah, thank you, getting in close. You can see that also over here. This is crystal lacquer and you simply squeeze or brush it on. You do want to let it dry and you will get that three-dimensional look as well as the shine, and it's just wonderful. Anytime you have a glass, um, it's perfect for highlighting that. So what Heidi did is she took this first piece, matted it on black, and just saved it. Then she took our rectangle cutting dies, and you can see that she these are nested, so you've got all kinds of sizes. She only used the straight edge, so that's perfectly fine. And you can see that she cut in the center of each one. So there's one, two, three, and matted each on black, and then foam taped them together. Now, for the um, top one, or for all of them, you're going to foam tape them so that you can see the art. It just continues. This is called a pyramid uh, style. And that's really kind of fun. And because you get six sheets of each, you've got plenty to work with. Now, she did, uh, um, as I said, foam tape those together. Then she wrapped black ribbon around the base. And we've got the black ribbon set, so that takes care of you. And then foam taped it to the front of the card. You can see the flowers. These are the um, Pacific flowers. Yes from our friends at 49 and Market, and they're going to get zotted right here. So two are just zotted on the front. Now you can see that loop of ribbon, that just works nicely, and then there's a little uh, piece of ribbon, just a, a little loop bow right at the top. And by the way, of course, as you, you know Heidi's secret to ribbons and bows, that is Hunky Dory's bow maker, so it works perfectly. So that's going to be used right there. Now, speaking of Hunky Dory, she also used their gold studs, and you can see those on the corners, and that just works nicely. Now, inside her card, well, she's used another of the um, pieces of art. Wow, doesn't that just tell you have a happy birthday? Now, it is matted on that same um, gold star holographic. That's why you can see that, see that sparkle? Then she also put some thin line dazzles. These come in a package of black, white, gold, and silver. And you can see, let's get in close. Yeah, there you go. You can see there's a dazzle right on the edge, kind of facing in to that art. More of the studs. And then this bow is from the um, gold and silver collection. 
Now, I promised to show you the other art. And what is fun is that it goes vertically as well as horizontally. So I'm just going to quickly flip through these. I just want you to see that there are a lot of different looks. We've got some sweet, we've got some fun, um, pretty. So things that would be for men, women, children, so all of that works. So there are vertical ones and there are horizontal ones too. So that works nicely. Okay, that is our little book of birthdays. We're going to move on to the next one, which is our little book of delightful birds. Now, Heidi's done something different with this. And uh, let me just show you, this is layered. There's some acetate on top. Now you could turn this into a shaker card if you wanted to, but let me show you what she's done. So she has used the Be Happy collection of papers. And let me get this out here. Here's the Be Happy 12 by 12 pattern, as well as the Be Happy solid. She also used a Be Happy die cut. So let me show you how that goes. And this is obviously the sheet that she used for her front of her card. Once again, she's really maximized the idea that you've got six layers. So she has placed, first of all, she covered her card with the yellow Be Happy. Then she took kind of a pink Be Happy and matted it on pink and put that down and glued it in place. Then she took one sheet, this sheet, and matted it on pink again and glued it to the front. Then she went to cutting. Now, Heidi had a fun time using um, her, uh, the four and a half inch professional scissors. Those are going to work really well. So she's got one layer down that's the whole thing. The next layer, she removed the sky and she removed the grass that's right around there and then foam taped it in place. The next time she removed the sky and the grass and the flowers right here and then foam taped it down. For the fourth one, she removed all of those, but also the leaves down here. And let me just let you get into this a little bit closer. Hopefully you can see that. Now when I'm holding, when I'm seeing this in person, I can see that just the owl and the roses are there but I can then see the flowers, I can see that oak, that log, and I can see this whole piece. So you really get that three-dimensional. The thing that Heidi did is she um, cut out the center of another sheet. Do you see how this is on top? That top piece has got a window. Then she put a piece of acetate on the back of it and foam taped it in place. So you really have this dimensional look. I'm gonna show it to you on the side. Now using our foam tape, it's not gonna really make this you know, an inch high. It's gonna keep this a little more manageable. Okay, so then she also, um, before she put that acetate on, she did use the pink crystals to just in the center of some of those flowers, not all of them because there are a lot of them, but in some of them. Now, this is a ribbon that comes from the Ivory Collection, so you can see how that does a nice job. And then there's also this Hello, which is also from the Be Happy. Inside her card, same idea. We've got the Be Happy completely covering the card. Then we've got this piece. This is a cutout from the Be Happy. She's matted it twice and then glued it to the center. This is one of the die cuts and another die cut and then another ivory ribbon. More of those pink crystals just makes this a complete set. Now, what other birds are there? Well, let me show you a few of them. Again, I just wanna move quickly through here to give you an idea. I love those circular frames around them. And again, these are the vertical ones. And then here are some of the horizontals. So, just a wide variety, as you can see. Really, really sweet. Okay, moving on. And our next one is the Jars of Love. Now that's fun. So what might that be? Well, let me show you. 
This one is using the jars on the front, of course, as you can see. And this is the piece. Now, as you're looking at this, I hope that you're seeing that shine. That shine is coming from the crystal lacquer, that same crystal lacquer she used on the first card. Here it is. And again, you just paint it on. You do have to let it dry. It's going to take, you know, a little while to dry, about 20 minutes or so. So she took one piece, matted it on. Let's see, she is using the Gingham number no. two collection along with the Gingham Solid number no. two collection for her, for her solids. So she matted it first on the solid, then on the, um, gold, the gold metallic cardstock. You can see that shine, okay, right there. And then she matted it again on the uh, gingham number two. So you can see that pink. And it matches nicely with the gingham that's in the art. So that was a smart move. Then she took another piece of art, cut out the hearts and cut out the jar, did those with the crystal lacquer, let them set, then uh, foam taped them in place, just right over the matching art. Then she wrapped it with the light pink ribbon and glued that to her card front. Now her card front is white, so it just stayed white. And here's the light pink ribbon. You can see it's just a really light, light shade. Now, that is the front of her card. Oh, wait, she's got the purple um, sparkles. So that's, again, the dimension that's going on right there. Then the inside of her card, now that's gonna be something different. Okay, look what she's done. Here is this sweet kitty. So all she's done, she's matted it on the gold metallic again, then on the teal gingham, and then on a teal solid. And that goes into the card. Now the hearts, same idea. She took another one of them, cut out two of the hearts, did crystal lacquer on them, and then foam tape them right there. Now, the little greetings there, the thanks and with love, those come from the tiny words and phrases. Now, this is the pastels and pearls, and that gold is a pearl. So it's just very soft and very pretty. You get these little stars, you get hearts, along with it, again, the light pink, um, Ribbon Pack also has the Baker's Twine. I like how it's filling that space. That works very nicely. So very cute, don't you think? Now, some other art that is in that collection looks like this. And this is another place where you might wanna use the crystal lacquer because they're gonna be jars. Isn't that pretty? There's gonna be jars in everything. And from fanciful to um, supportive as well as just lovely. Relax that I'm wine. So you can see just a lot of fun, fun things. Again, some are horizontal. Okay, I have one more card from you, and it also comes from the Jars of Love. So can you see? Well, in fact, let me show you the art. <clears throat> there you go. So there she is strumming her guitar, sitting in the jar with butterflies all around. So to do that, Heidi has done something different in this. So let me just back up and take you from the first. So this is using the um, Meadow Blooms 12 by 12 patterned cardstock, isn't that beautiful? As well as the Meadow Blooms solid cardstock. And Actually, the Meadow Bloom 6x6, six six. I'll show you why in a minute. So she's covered her card with the Meadow Blooms, again, five by six and a half. Then she took this piece, matted it on the gold solid, and glued that to the front of her card. Now these cutouts are from the 6x6 six six because they're much, much smaller. So that's what she's foam taped right there. Now those wonderful butterflies that are supporting the art come from our jewel butterflies. They're on acetate, so you can uh, just glue them in the center, attach them to your card, and you get that beautiful 3D look. Now she did put um, the um, 
excuse me, the blue sparkles uh, on the center of the butterflies. But there's something else going on, and I skipped right over it. So let me kind of wiggle this so you can see. Okay, there you go. Do you see that uh, jar shape? Well, what she did is she put her acetate over the card and took a marker. You'd have to use a, a permanent marker and just traced the jar. Then she cut it out. You want to remove those lines when you cut it out. And she glued the butterfly, she placed the jar there and then glued the butterflies in place using extra sticky tape and then lifted it and then behind the butterflies put a zot. And that way that holds that jar in place. And it's just a really fun look. Now you could crystal lacquer it too, but I think the acetate jar just gives you one more technique to use. Now on the inside of her card, again, the Meadow Blooms paper, and then this is the art that she used. How pretty is that? She did the same thing. In fact, let me wiggle this so you can see. Okay, you see the acetate jar and the acetate butterfly and the cutouts. Those are all right there, attaching it the exact same way. So again, you're going to trace and cut out your jar, uh, zot your butterfly in place, and then put a zot on the other side to hold it against the uh, art. You might do the same thing with these little guys to put your zot behind it just to con conceal that zot, but also secure it to your piece. So you don't have to glue down every single bit of it just like that. That's not glued down. So you don't have to worry about that. It'll hold it in place. Okay, lots of ideas. Well, you can see there are almost a hundred designs with the three of these. Lots of themes, lots of seasons, lots of reasons, so that's really fun. There is a money saver. You know where it is. It's over on the right side of the screen. So we, if you get all of them, you get a little discount, so that's our gift to you. Down below, Heidi has written instructions for all of these. You're welcome to click on those. You can print off the instructions if you like. You'll see them also on the right side of your screen. If you are watching us on YouTube, we hope that you've enjoyed this and we hope you'll join us again. We'd love it if you would like us, if you would comment, and then please subscribe to our channel. That gets us more eyes on Paper Wishes, which is what we want. Head on over to paperwishes.com. Take advantage of the money saver. Certainly look at the instructions if you'd like and join us. We have lots of webisodes, free webisodes, every single month. We don't want you to miss anything. Okay, thank you, thank you, Heidi. Wonderful job as always, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.